Hello, everyone. My name is Gabriela Calisto Rivera, and I'm a postdoctoral fellow at the European Southern Observatory in Germany. Uh, I am the director of the Cosmomotors program, which is a teacher training program in Peru. And today I'm going to present the results and strategies we used in the program on behalf of the entire Cosmomotors team, and thanks to the support of the organizations listed here below. So, Cosmomotors was motivated uh, in, in order to use astronomy to help with uh, two main uh, issues in the current education system in Peru. The first of which is the uh, quality of education, which was shown, uh, for instance, by these uh, results from the PISA studies, that was well below those from uh, developed countries or countries from the OECD, uh, where there is this results show that the scientific literacy of Peruvian children was three to four years lower than that of children from developed countries. Um, additionally, uh, we wanted to tackle also the issue of social and gender inequality, which is a general problem in the country, however, also very strong in education. And uh, as shown also by the PISA results um, here that show that the gender gap in mathematics and science is much larger in Peru than in developed countries, uh, which is also stronger when we go to rural regions in the country, where, for instance, illiteracy is uh, much, much larger than in urban regions. Um, with this motivation, we started Cosmomotors in 2020, and now um, the program is being led by a uh, large interdisciplinary team um, of astronomers, physicists, uh, artists, developers that work together to, to build a project. And uh, thanks to the support uh, and funding from the Office of Astronomy for Development of the IAU. So Cosmomotors consists of three um, tiers. Uh, the first level is the university level, uh, university education level. The second one is the, the school level, where we work with the teachers through the teacher training program. And the third level is um, the pupils and family level, where we work together with astronomic labs. In this talk, I'm going to focus on these two points as they are relevant uh, from the education perspective. So... Um, the why we decided to to work with teachers in Cosmomotors is because in this way our impact can be multiplicative and self-sustainable. Um, for instance, in these two years that we've worked uh, together with 120 teachers and selected from uh, rural high schools, um, the program has impacted has managed to impact uh, about more than 7,000 high school students through their teachers. Um, the virtual concept of our program has also um, been received well by the teachers, uh, given the context of the COVID-19, because in this way, we could also not only share on astronomy and the scientific method with them, but also um, with ideas and, on, and virtual tools to use and uh, to have a more interactive um, class in the, in the virtual, class, virtual classrooms. Um, so one key point that we wanted to be clear um, in the entire program is that Cosmomotors is not there to teach teachers, but to share knowledge with them. Um, and in this sense, Cosmomotors is actually the joint work of astronomers, uh, physicists, and um, together with teachers um, with a common goal of improving the scientific education in their regions, where the, the team uh, the astronomers in the team are leading the scientific training of the program, whereas the teachers are leading the actual implementation, the pedagogical part of, uh, of improving scientific education um, in their classrooms. So here I'm showing um, some pictures um, shared by the teachers and from our Zoom screens. Um, uh, of the um, teacher training events that we had in these two years. The teacher training consisted of six full days uh, sessions that happened usually on Saturdays, um, where the teachers um, uh, uh, participated in lectures, 
but uh, also an inquiry-based learning activities that uh, consisted and uh, composed of half of the days, um, where they worked on astronomy topics across all different scales. For instance, starting with this Earth, Sun, and Moon system, where they measured the diameter of the of the Earth, going to stellar uh, astrophysics and um, to work with exoplanets, as you can see here below. Um, they also looked at and uh, studied spectroscopy, uh, galactic, extragalactic astronomy, and finally cosmology. So this tight relationship that Cosmomotors has with the teachers um, not only helped um, with with the nice environment that was in uh, in the program, but also because it helped with the motivation of actually of this session and the conference, which is how to get your administration and your ministry to listen. Because working with the teachers, we were able to also connect to to, for instance, the school directors, since many initiatives of the teachers um, were those motivating the school directors to also interact with us. Um, some of the teachers as well were part themselves of regional education of the offices and uh, which are directly connected to the ministry, which helped us to contact more schools in those regions. And finally, some of the teachers are um, were also from uh, high performance schools um, throughout the country, which already gave us the connection to a national network of high performance teachers themselves. Um, so, and second outcome, which was important for the program, um, is the Astro Clubs. And this uh, aspect was very valuable for us because it's uh, the best evidence, the best direct evidence of impact um, of um, our uh, teacher training. So all teachers in the program were invited to open their astronomy clubs in their school, um, which was a way to... Um, introduce the, the concept and, the, and and to test the, the activities and the topic with your students uh, in a after school um, context be, uh, as a stepping stone towards um, learning how to best implement this in the actual uh, um, school curriculum. So uh, 20 teachers opened their astronomy clubs uh, throughout the country, um, which happened weekly. And uh, once a month, we also meet with all the, the Astro Clubs and they also are connected to each other. So sometimes, um, for instance, for the measurement of the diameter of the Earth, they are connected um, across the country. And uh, this is a very important point uh, because um, by showing the impact through the work of the students, it's also easier for us to um talked and present the project and the, and uh, present the value of the project to stakeholders and and uh, in the ministry for instance so here i'm showing some more pictures of the um students working in the astro clubs finally uh, other outcomes from the program has been the the public material that you can find in our web page and is uh, uh, we welcome all uh uh, the, the community, the interested community, to to use and and um, and share this this material. So we developed, uh, we wrote uh, a book which is around 150 pages, which is the entire curriculum of the program, which consists of six text uh, textbook chapters, um, uh, including established and cutting edge results as well, always were written by um, active astronomers, researchers. Um, and also together with educators so that the chapters are tailored uh, to be integrated in the current uh, national curriculum. Um, this book is not only a textbook, but half of it is also an activity book and includes uh, six original uh, inquiry learning activities that were um, performed during the workshop. So finally, um, we also developed uh, uh, five different video games that are now public on our webpage. And these were developed by, um, by the experts in our team. And it was motivated by the pandemic since we needed um, some activities that um, invited, uh, that made the classroom more interactive. Um, but also in it's in line with the idea of inquiry-based learning and, uh, and self-learning by the students. Um, and uh, they were also 
constructed in order to be complementary to, to the formal education and to the curriculum that we have developed. So all the games are in Spanish, but um, since we developed these uh, games, they're available for translation if requested. So um, with this, I'd like to end my presentation. Uh, thank you for your attention. And if you need more information, you can find it on our webpage. And uh, I welcome any question or comment during the um, the end of the session. Thank you.